Hello, I want to welcome you to I Hope Not This Week with Samuel Temitokwe Akade. I am Samuel Temitokwe Akade, the young adult pastor of Faith Baptist Church and also an associate pastor. Samuel Tebitopi Akade. On this week's episode, we'll be looking at the Christian the world loves. The Christian the world loves. Of course, I have three categories of Christian the world loves. And if you belong to this category, you will know why the world loves you or why you are hated by the world. And when I refer to the world, I'm talking about people that are not saved, that don't really believe the Bible, that don't really care about the Bible, but Definitely, they love their home. Look at the first on the list is an unsaved person born into a religion tagged Christian, Christianity. An unsaved person born into a religion tagged Christianity. Of course, uh, many times when you are asked, what's your religion? Is it that you feel that I'm a Christian or feel other religion? So many of us belong to one religion or the other. But the real thing is many think they are Christians because they are born into Christian religion. That is to say, they are born into a family that goes to church or read the Bible, but they themselves don't really know why they are Christians. Such a person will love to live his life anyhow, the way he likes. In fact, we love to live his life like what I call living his life for his father. And who is his father? The devil. Because if you don't have Jesus as your father, then you will have someone as your father, which is going to be the devil. So such a person does that which he likes, talks like he likes, does things he likes, eats what he likes, drinks what he likes, doesn't care about anybody. Nothing directs his life. No father in heaven that directs his life. The world loves such a person. The, the world loves such a personality that does that which he likes without referring to any reason, without referring to any, any, anyone why he does or has any reason to back the reason why he does what he does. So the world likes that. By the way, let me interject it. Let me quickly say this, that for you to really be a, a Christian, the Bible makes us to understand that a Christian is not someone that is just born into a religion. A Christian is someone that understands at the time that he is a sinner, that understands that he is on the way, his way to hell, and that accepted Jesus as his Savior. That is, he understood that there is no other way to go to heaven than Jesus, and he asked Jesus to come into his heart, and he became a saved person. That's who biblical meaning what by clicker meaning of Christianity really means. That's the person that is saved. But the world doesn't care about that. The world does just care about you being religious and that's about it. So the world will like you when you are just Christian by name, but you are not saved. Of course, the second on the list of the Christian the world loves is a saved but not separated person. A saved but not separated person. The world does not only like a Christian that is not saved, that is just bearing the name by religion, but the world also loves a Christian that is saved but not separated. In fact, the world we always use him 
as a reference point for other Christians that are trying to live a separated lifestyle by telling them, can't you see, uh, is he not a Christian as you are? Is he not, does he not go to church? Does he not read his Bible? But see, he's accommodating us. He's doing like, he's behaving like us. He does what we do. He eats what we eat. He plays where we, he watches what we watch. Why is yours so different? Why are you behaving earlier than thou? Uh, uh, why are you having that attitude of earlier than, uh, the attitude of earlier than thou attitude? Why are you having attitude of earlier than thou the world we say so so uh the world loves such a person of course uh uh that's one of the category of christian the world loves number three on the list of the christian the world loves which is the last is the backsliding christian the world loves someone that used to stand for god but now living outside of the will of god the world we say he can now see but basically is becoming more blind not that he's seen is becoming more blind but the world loves such a person that used to stand for god that used to live for god that used to go to church that used to read his bible that used to uh be guided by the truth of the word of god about what he or she wants to do but now saying i don't care about that any longer i'm living my life for myself the world loves such a group of people and such was the case of demas in in the book of second timothy chapter 4 verse 10 uh, the Bible says, For them as has forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica, Christian unto, to, Christian unto Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia. So, Demas loved the world. Of course, he forsook, according to the scripture, forsook others that were in the will of God and moved away. Thank God he was able, able to find his way back into the fold. But the, the world we love such a thing. And of course, what we want most of the time draw us back is when we love the world, when we desire to want to go with the world. Men, most of the time, we want to get out of the will of God and do what does not really glorify God. But then you say you will, you will think like, oh, I'm loved by the world. Can't you see? It's like, like I'm even arming myself. That's a lie. The world always loves such a person. But when you keep decide when you decide to keep the word of god to stand out one thing will happen the word will eat you uh the bible makes us to understand in romans chapter 12 verse 2 the bible says and be not conformed to this word but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect way of god definitely god doesn't want us to conform to the world god wants us to be transformed so that we can prove those things that are mentioned yeah, Jesus made us to understand in John chapter 17, 14 through 16. The Bible says, I have given them thy word, and the word hath hated them, because they are not of the word, even as I am not of the word. Not this. The Bible says, Jesus said, I have given them thy word. What did Jesus say? He gave us his word, and the word hated us. Because we are not of this, of this world. Or of this world. Anytime a Christian starts to stand out for the word of God, truly by the word of God, expect to be hated by the world. So if you find yourself in the category of being accepted by the world, of getting applause of the world, there's something wrong somewhere with your Christian life. Because the Bible says the world will one way or the other hate us for standing out for the truth of the word of God. Continuation of that verse says, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. The world never loved our Jesus like we do, and the world cannot. So Jesus is saying, they are not of the world, as I am not of the world. So if you now want the world to love you, want to be accepted by the world, want to have have music that will be accepted by the world, want to do things that will be accepted by the world, you will want to move away from the word. And if you are standing for the word, the world will hate you. If you put the word down, the world will love you. So which one will you rather prefer? To be loved by the world or to be loved by the Father? Let me say this, this last verse in 1 John chapter 3, verse 13. The Bible says, Marvel not, my brethren, if the word hates you. Thank you. If you need any more clarification on this subject, we will be willing to send you some more Bible verses or educate you on some other things that are not mentioned in this video. 
kindly WhatsApp us with the number on the screen. Thank you. Join us next week. God bless you.